Mythical Creatures of Ancient Greece Written by Elizabeth Jane Pistilnik Illustrated by Timothy Truman Focus Question What are some mythical creatures of ancient Greece? And what do they represent in that culture? Introduction People in many cultures have myths. Myths are stories that explain important ideas, such as good and evil, in ways people can understand. A myth can be a lesson, a story about history, or a tale about a natural wonder. It can even be a warning. In ancient Greece, myths were an important part of religion. Fantastic creatures often played a central role in Greek myths, along with gods, goddesses, and heroes. Centaurs Centaurs had the head and chest of a human and the body of a horse. Their animal side was more powerful than their human side. To the Greeks, the centaurs were animal-like and driven by their feelings, while the Greeks were civilized. The story of the centaurs began with a Greek king named Ixion. Zeus had allowed Ixion to live on Mount Olympus. Zeus heard that Ixion had fallen in love with Hera, Zeus's wife. As a test for Ixion, Zeus created a cloud that looked like Hera. Ixion fell in love with the cloud, thinking it was Hera. The cloud gave birth to the first centaur. Zeus punished Ixion by forcing him to spin on a burning wheel forever. Ancient Greeks put pictures of battles showing themselves fighting centaurs on many objects from drinking cups to stone temples. The Greeks did not often show current events in their art. Rather, they used pictures of myths to show how they felt about what was going on in the world around them. For example, the Greeks connected one of their greatest enemies, the Persians, with the centaurs. Do you know? The relationship between a guest and his or her host was an important part of ancient Greek culture. The myth about Ixion and the first centaur shows the importance of this relationship through Ixion's disrespect of Zeus, his host. Zeus's punishment was a lesson about the consequences of breaking this accepted custom. Sirens Like centaurs, sirens were also hybrid creatures. Sirens were women with the wings, legs, and bodies of birds. They stood for the importance of self-control. They lived on an island in the middle of the sea where they sang beautiful songs to lure sailors. The sailors would lose control of their ships and crash on to the rocky shores of the island. The myth about the sirens 
says that they had once been human maids to the goddess Persephone. One day, the god of the underworld took Persephone while she was picking flowers. Their wings helped the sirens search for Persephone. The sirens never found her and settled on the island. The sirens drew many sailors to them, but a few were able to pass them by. One played music so loud that it blocked out the siren's song. Another told his sailors to tie him tightly to his boat. His sailors plugged their ears so they could not hear the song. Being able to avoid the siren's song stood for the strength of will that Greek people valued. Wordwise The sirens are connected to the word siren, which is a device that gives off a loud warning sound. They also inspired the meaning of a siren song, something so appealing that it makes you want it, even if it is dangerous. Medusa While the sirens were known for their beauty, Medusa was famous for her scary appearance. Ancient Greek artists usually showed the Gorgons Medusa and her two sisters, with large round heads and huge eyes. They often had snakes instead of hair, pointed tusks, and tongues sticking out of their mouths. Although Medusa's sisters were immortal, she was mortal. It was possible for humans to defeat her. Medusa had her own defense against attacks, though. She could turn people to stone once they looked directly into her eyes. The myth about Medusa began with an evil king who was in love with the mother of a boy named Perseus. To get Perseus out of his way, the king tricked him into promising he would bring anything the king wanted. The king sent Perseus to get the head of Medusa, a deed he thought would be impossible. With the help of gods and goddesses, Perseus cut off the head of Medusa. Two creatures came out of her body. Some people think the killing of Medusa symbolized the ending of a drought. The creatures stood for the good things that came after, crops and water. Wowzer! The Greeks believed that the frightening faces of the Gorgons would protect them and ward off evil. They put pictures of Gorgons everywhere, including on their shields. The Minotaur The Minotaur was another hybrid creature. It had a bull's head and a man's body. The monster was so scary that it was kept in a maze called the Labyrinth, beneath the palace of Minos, where the king of Crete lived. After boys from the city of Athens killed the son of Minos, the king wanted revenge he began to attack Athens. He agreed to stop if the people of Athens 
sent seven boys and seven girls to the Minotaur. A brave boy from Athens named Theseus volunteered to be one of the victims. When Theseus arrived in Crete, he was put in a cage with the other victims. It was then that the princess of Crete, Ariadne, saw Theseus and fell in love with him. The princess didn't want the Minotaur to hurt Theseus. She asked the man who built the labyrinth how Theseus could escape. She was told that she should give Theseus a ball of yarn to tie to a door. He was to unwind it as he made his way through the labyrinth. She also gave Theseus a sword. After Theseus defeated the Minotaur, he followed the trail of yarn back out of the maze. The Minotaur myth was popular after the Greeks took over Crete. Just as centaurs often symbolized the Persians, bulls often stood for Crete. Bulls were sacred to an important goddess in Crete. Some people think that Theseus beating the Minotaur stood for the Greeks taking over Crete. Typhon The Minotaur was tiny compared to the giant Typhon. It was a monster with wings, snakes for legs, and one hundred heads, one human, and the rest different creatures. Typhon stood for the harmful forces of nature. Only Zeus, the king of the gods, could match Typhon. Their battle shook the whole world. Zeus set all one hundred of the monster's heads on fire. He then locked Typhon away inside Earth. The ancient Greeks blamed Typhon for the strong winds that spread across land and sea during great storms. People were comforted by the idea that Zeus could defeat the natural forces of weather that Typhon represented. Conclusion The ancient Greeks did not tell stories about mythical creatures simply to entertain or scare people. These creatures and the myths about them had meanings that helped people understand the world around them at the time. While mythical creatures played important roles in ancient Greek culture, they are also popular today. Children and adults are still excited by their amazing stories. Connections Writing Write a short play about one of the mythical creatures from the book. Perform your play in a small group. Art Make a decorative mask of one of the mythical creatures from the book. <laughs>